take that movie. One shot movie. That's all you need. One shot who me? Take that movie. One shot movie. That's all you need. Hey. One shot for everybody living in the moment. One shot is all you get, so you gotta own it. One shot. You only get one shot. One shot for everybody living in the moment. One shot is all you get, so you gotta own it. One shot. You only get one shot. Continue ahead to begin your franchise. Use the options on the left to edit league settings or change your role to a player or owner. One shot for everybody living in the moment. One shot is all you get, so you gotta own it. One shot. You only get one shot. Slamming the door, I'm jumping the gate. Could have starved my stomach like being punched in the face. And an instrumental with the last time that I ate. Food from all of the base. My ace boom goon, big son told me about the game. 20 years later, know my name. King crown me loud in the back of the spot. Pay homage to an underground peasant climb to the top. Funny style. On elevators could never fade us. I peep data staying anytime they congratulate us. Goggles is worn and bottles is popping. I'm beyond Sanders on haters. This ice bucket dropping over the head with it. They should have cred with it. You be the fight or flight. I ain't one for the ledge living. I do it for the one that died of bad millions. With soul food flowed and stock my bad kitchen. I'm liberated. I drew a play that they ain't illustrated. I make a move they gladly imitated. I ain't flattered. I'm a dragon to your paper castle. The Alpha and Omega promise it ain't nothing. A new beginning. My catalog like James L. Jones, the ever living. Imagine if I did make beats, that's more for killing. Imagine if you come from the side by my city. You probably wouldn't make it. Oh, yeah, yeah, really. I go extra to be great. I go extra for the fam. I go extra for the cake. I got extras on the plate. I go extra every day. I got extras on the way. How much? Extra, extra. How much? Extra, extra. How much extra, extra? How much extra, extra? Ain't no mileage of foreign dollars configured. A road I travel, don't gravel, that probably baffle it. Label scribble on paper, they want to shackle it. I own my masters and royalties, you can't raffle it. 
Wrist drip like a mango, fingertip like I'm Thanos, knocking those down no bangles. Without a tango, tailor made, walk with a limp, them bands is heavy, I need a brace. I am money, I guess the world is just a safe combination, need it, not a coca key. I'm the extra lighter on the dresser, I know you need it, smoking out the competition, pouring up, we undefeated. What you heard, what you heard, let you heard, we eating, talking about. View your team plan. save snapshots, like or follow the top the stories and reactions snap. from around the league Don't in the news tab. Quickly review the league's top performers and the current. I go extra for the fam, I go extra for the cake. I got extras on the plate. I go extra every day, I got extras on the way. How much extra? How much extra? Entering settings screen you have 20 options, menu narration option is set to office selected. This is the player card. Here, this is your development trait. Here are a player's motivations. How will your team...
a work day, gentlemen, and you know what that means? We gotta get better today. What I wanna know is, who's ready to work? I'm ready to work, are you ready to work? Welcome to week one of the NFL preseason, where the rookies of today hope to become the stars of tomorrow. It's the Panthers and the Commanders, and it's coming right up on EA Sports. We are technically five miles east of Washington, D.C., and that's where you find this place, FedEx Field in Landover, Maryland. Today, it's a preseason matchup between the Carolina Panthers and the Washington Commanders. Charles Davis alongside me, and I'm Brandon Gordon. And, folks, the wait is over. Yes, it's just the preseason, but football is back in your living room. And I'm excited. I know you are as well. The summer heat feels good on these old bones, especially because we're not putting on pads. We don't have to be out there in that heat running into other people. But I'm glad these guys are. Football is back. Start of this next possession in a three-nothing ball game. They'll come out throwing here to start the drive. Buying time to his left. He's got a man complete. And they're going to have this across midfield and inside the 45. It's a game of 35. One of the things that led this organization to commit to him as a starting quarterback as a rookie, his ability to keep his eyes downfield and make plays out of the pocket, able to see the receiver while on the move and complete a really accurate throw. Now a 1,000-yard rusher a season ago, Antonio Gibson with it. And he'll get it inside the 40 to the 39. Give him five on the carry there, and it'll be second down. 
Clock rolling as we hit the midway point of this first quarter. Brandon, five yards on that run. Let's get back to the huddle and make sure if you're back, you spend time with your offensive line and give them credit. Hard to move those 300 plus pounders at the line of scrimmage, and they did for a significant chunk of yardage. Seven yards there and a first down. Now yeah, one for the first time here with Brian Robinson. And he is met quickly in the backfield. Down he goes, folded like a lawn chair. He'll lose a yard there, and it's second and 11. That was well played there defensively. Two tight ends in the formation, which essentially gave them seven blockers up front. Hard to imagine with all that size and beef that they could let a tackler through, but that's exactly what happened. A loss resulted. Now they'll switch it up here and look to throw. And that's off the mark, incomplete. Right there to break that up, Damian Wilson. An incomplete pass on that last play, and that means they'll need to come up with something here on third down. They'll set up to throw. And he finds McLaurin. And they're going to have another first down as the tackle's made at the Panthers' 14. A third down gain of 19. There's a first and 10 at the 14-yard line. Inside the red zone here. They'll look to throw. Looking left side, and he's got a man. That's Robinson. And they've got this down to about the 12-yard line. I know it was a game, but you have to sense probably a little bit of disappointment there because when it's out there in open space, I think they expect to get more out of a play, don't you? Especially when you're getting it to your guy out of the backfield. You're expecting him to be able to create something, be a little more shifty. Yeah, no doubt about it. Good open field tackling held it to an okay game. A yard in the wrong direction makes third down tougher. Third down and nine. Count me as a little bit surprised by what we just saw there because this has been a pretty long drive. And normally you think that wears down a defense. In this case, it looked like the offensive line let them down a little bit. They allowed the penetration and the ability to stuff them for a loss. Now, meanwhile, a pass that should have been intercepted, but it winds up falling incomplete. Field goal unit and Joey Sly now. From the left hand, should be a fairly easy one here. Sly able to put this one through, and that will tie us at 3-3. So a return of serve, so to speak, here on the second drive of our game as they respond to that opening field. Out there, set ready for this next drive, the Washington offense. And last time they got three points, but it was a chip shot field goal. And when you go to the sideline after a chip shot field goal, maybe the offense not too happy. It's a balancing act, isn't it? Because you're exactly right. They're none too pleased that they didn't punch it in for six points. But they also have to remember, they did put points on yeah, the board. Three points is three points. And in this league, <laughs> you take... He's got a man complete! And he'll have it past midfield almost to the 40 before being taken down. 33 yards that time. Wins. Incomplete, but a penalty flag is down in the backfield. Let's get the call. Offense. They were looking to throw, holding on the big right tackle. That's real simple, partner. Keep your hands inside in the chest area. You're probably okay. You get it out on the shoulders, get them wide. You're just going to pick up a holding call. They run on first down as they get about three. Second and seven, forthcoming. Well, obviously, they would have at least liked to have gotten back to the original line of scrimmage. Instead, now, they're dealing with second and long. I thought they would have passed it after the penalty. Probably wish they would have now. And he can't get rid of it. He's taken down. All about the offense so far this drive, putting something sustained together. But the defense, they responded on that play. Second and manageable became third and long. The drive marching to the end zone is one play from stalling out. 
And that will be incomplete. Like what I see so far out of this defense because they've been showing their best coverages on third down. So far, only allowed one conversion on a handful of attempts. One area of their game plan that they've executed to perfection. And now the putter, Tress Way, as he sends this one away. And they'll play keep away from the returner as this one will be marked out of bounds at the 13-yard line. Pretty good spot. Now the pick. So the football will be at the 25-yard line as this offense gets set to take over. On first and ten, here's Wentz. He'll get this complete to Erickson. And they're able to get this one across the 35. Nice way to start the drive, a gain of 12 and a first down. You can see the time and effort and thought that they put into their passing game because it was evident right there. It looks like a simple pitch and catch, but you and I both know that they have planned for this and worked hard to make it happen. On the run, he'll let it go deep, right sideline. And it's incomplete. Took a shot, couldn't connect. An incomplete pass on first down. That leads to a second and ten. Throwing now is Wentz. And this will be caught at the 30. And he is out of bounds, but not before he's inside the 30. A very nice pickup of 33 yards. And that might be exactly what they needed to wake up this home crowd. They haven't given them much to cheer for so far. And never underestimate the effect the home crowd with you can have on a game. Play action. Now wins. And that's going to be too high. Out of bounds and incomplete. And their back's up against the wall a little bit, and they come through by forcing an incompletion. Now they've got to continue to ratchet up the intensity a couple of more times and get off the field before giving up any more yardage. They try to throw on second down, but this one is incomplete. That's a big force incompletion there to bring up third and long, and this defense can still salvage a little momentum by forcing them to kick a field goal because just a few plays ago, they looked like they were headed towards the end zone. And he's down inside the five at the four before he's out of bounds. Big yardage there on the scramble. It gets him a first down. Oh, Brandon, that's a gamer move right there. Facing third down, steps up, calls his own number, and nearly makes the house call. If I'm the coach, I let him take another one right here. Give him a chance to be the first one to hit the end zone after that effort he just gave him. First and goal, and they got to be thinking a chance to get right back into this football game. On play action, it's Wentz. And that is caught. Touchdown, Washington. Alex Erickson from four yards out. And the Commanders get a late score here in the final minute of the first half. The Washington offense at the line and ready to roll. And they're still very much in this game, although they do trail. What's the game plan, Charles, for the second half? It might be a little counterintuitive because most people will think losing equals passing the ball more, but I'd establish the running game. They kind of went away from it in the first half. I think if they get back in balance, it'll help them when they put the ball back in the air. They'll break the huddle, come up on second and eight at the 27-yard line. They run it again with Williams. And he'll get about three here as he's out to the 30. Just not a whole lot of room to operate there on that carry. No, not at all. They did a really nice job staying in their proper places and not allowing any lanes to open up. Now a third down throw, but it misses the target incomplete. The goal is certainly to try and make a big play happen and climb back into this game, but you have to be careful. If you overdo it, you could turn it over and hurt your team. 
And on fourth down, on is the punt team sending this one away. It'll be 37 yards there on the punt, and it will be the Panthers' ball, first and 10. Now we take... So the football will be at the 25-yard line as this offense gets set to take over. They fake the give. Now wins. He's got a man complete. And they're going to have this across midfield and inside the 45. On first down, Wentz. To the left side, complete to Erickson. And they'll work this down inside the 30. Under a minute to go in this third quarter as they come up first and 10. On play action, Wentz letting one go deep for the end zone. And he bats it away, and it falls down incomplete. In the third quarter here in D.C., a second and 10 upcoming. Wentz now to throw. And he can't find a receiver, and he's brought down. Wentz and the Commanders staring down a third and long now after that sack. Back to throw here. And a throw there going to be incomplete. Uh, he's smart enough to avoid the taunting rule, but I'll guarantee he quietly has told them, you might want to stop coming after me downfield because I just broke up another pass and took away a big shot that you were trying to succeed with. And I tell you what, he got it from 58. That had lots of leg behind it. And that will tighten this one up a bit. Now a one-score game at 20 to 13. So out there set and ready for this next drive, the Washington oh. offense. Last time out, you remember their drive stalled, but thanks to their kicker, booted a long field goal to at least get them three. Now here they'll try to do better and find the end zone. And in our experience, how much fun is it for coaches to know that they've got a kicker who can nail it from long distance? Now the hard part is, as an offensive play caller, you don't want that in your head too much when you're relying on it. And he goes out and gets the job done for them, but I'm quite sure he would be content to just kick extra points from here on out. Yeah, absolutely no question. I think his teammates would be okay with him just kicking the extra points as well. On the run, he'll let this go deep right side. And it's knocked away and incomplete. I like the thought process there. They connected on a big play, and sometimes you find the defense vulnerable. So they went for the bigger shot, went for it all on that one. This time, they were ready for it. To throw once more on second and 10. Wentz, pressure comes in. He's brought down. It's a Panther sack. That winds up pushing him back 11 yards on the sack. And that'll bring up third. Now on third and long, they'll look to throw. And he's going to go down again. The defense rising to the challenge and setting him back on the sack. Here's Tressway now as he's on to punt for Washington. Oh, it's a wobbler here. Now a fair catch signaled for and made right about the 43-yard line. Officially, that'll be marked down as just a 28-yard punt. So they surrendered three points, and now after the kickoff, this offense gets ready to take over the football. Wentz now on first down. That's caught by Sims. And he takes us beyond the 35 before going out of bounds. That'll be marked as a 27-yard pickup. From all the way up at the 38 now after a good start to the drive. Now Wentz. In trouble, and he's taken down. Now we get a stoppage because, as you can see, a member of the commanders in some obvious discomfort. Well, you hate to see this before the regular season even begins. And we'll take a break and come back. More preseason action in a moment. Protection certainly going to need to be a bit better here on second and 16. 
Another try after the first down sack. Wentz, that's into the hands of his tight end, Bates. Hang in there now, hang in there now. Possibly a turning point. Big play coming. This is third and long. Here's Wentz to throw. A throw left side caught here by the tight end, Bates. Now he's going to get this all the way down inside the 35. Throwing on first is Wentz. And he can't get a throw off. He's taken down. What a huge play at this point in the game. So it's Commander's football as we get back to it. They come up on a second down now in a game that looks like it's going to go down to the wire. Here we go, here we go. Now keep in mind, no overtime in the preseason. So without getting ahead of ourselves, we'll likely see a two-point try should they get this in the end zone. And a second down pass play there, but it's incomplete. So he's unable to complete it there, and just not the game that you would expect from him. He's been off the mark really start to finish. Yeah, it makes you wonder what exactly is going on. Is he a little bit dinged up here? Or is he just off just by a bit? Maybe he can get it back in this situation. He'll need to. Meanwhile, on third down, they take a shot at the end zone, but it's incomplete. Now Wentz, got to have this one. Open man, Erickson, that's complete. And now this is going to be close. The defense says they stopped him, and they did. They had to go... The Washington offense at the line and ready to roll. Okay. Wins to throw. Now a desperation throw deep downfield. That's going to be knocked away and incomplete. I like the fact that he took the shot deep downfield. Even if you don't get the catch, maybe you get a defensive penalty and pick up the yardage that way. He's going to let it fly. And he knocks the ball away, and it falls incomplete. Probably time for two more shots, and ideally, they'd like to get the midfield or so, so they have a chance at a Hail Mary on the final play. To throw is Wentz. Now a desperation throw deep downfield. And he bats it away, and it falls down incomplete. This defense looking impenetrable now. Three straight incompletions are giving them nowhere to go with the football. Maybe a little frustrated back there. Oh, there's no doubt about it. When you've missed on three straight, there's going to be some frustration. But now he's got to make sure that that frustration is temporary, not lingering. Big throw coming up. Now on four. Knocked away. Well, you really can't ask for much more than what we just had here. Not only a close game that went down to the wire, Charles, but a clean one, too. No turnovers in this contest. And I think you're exactly... Meeting your season goal comes with higher rewards, but also higher risk.
It's week one of the NFL, and today's clash of conferences is just moments away. It's the Jags and the Commanders, and it's all up next. Well, this building holds just north of 80,000. They have come out in very good numbers today at FedEx Field in Landover, Maryland. Today, it's the opener of a new in. Here's Gibson to start the drive. Just what you want on a first down run. Call it eight yards, and it's second and two. The success there, Charles, coming on the outside of the field, the ground game. Curious to see if that continues as we progress. Yeah, we often talk about a variety in play calling, and usually between run and pass. But in this case, with strictly the run game, you can be creative there as well. Run it inside, run it outside, keep the defense off balance. Second and two. That's complete. Terry McLaurin with it. And he'll be taken down, but not before they work it across midfield. A gain there of 21 yards. Back-to-back -back good plays have him on the move on first down. They'll look to throw out to his left. And it's knocked away and incomplete. Darius Williams, the one there defensively. So now second and ten after the incompletion on first down. They're going to look to throw. He'll get this into the hands of Antonio Gibson. And he's going to have another first down as the tackle's made at the Jaguars' 34-yard line. It's a gain of 11 yards that time, and it produces a new set of downs. On first and 10, it's Gibson. Tackle made by Devin Lloyd, the linebacker. So this, the 90th season of Washington football, of course, here, the first season and first ever regular season game for the Washington Commanders. That name unveiled in a grand reveal back on February 2nd. The franchise opting to keep the burgundy and gold color scheme, adding the striking W logo on each side of the helmet, and the single gold stripe running from front to back. Out of the gun now on third down. It'll be a loss of 13 on the play. And that's going to bring up a fourth down. They'll come out throwing here on first down. And he takes a shot on the release as this will be incomplete. They're bringing a lot of pressure here already in the first quarter. Already sacked him once. Now to get in there and knock another one away. You think maybe that tougher rule being gone makes defenses a lot bolder? Yes, indeed. That time lucky that the arm is going forward. Incomplete pass. And he'll be taken down, but not before they work it across midfield. 42 yards rushing for him now on just his first three carries. Just a terrific run there, Charles, from a running back who is so compact and powerful, and that strength was on display there. On first down, right back to Gibson. And he's got this down to the 35. Add the gain here to the previous play, and it's better than 40 yards total. Usually we see runs like this as the defense breaks down later in the game, but this guy is setting the tone early, running through all types of tackles and put the defense back on its heels. Now, meanwhile, a pass that should have been intercepted, but it winds up falling incomplete. After the incomplete pass here now is second and ten. He'll look to throw. 
Oh, and that'll be incomplete. And they took a shot as he let that go. And it's going to bring up a third down. That was not a real confident throw right there. And he's just two of seven to start the game. Now he's going to have to find a groove with a big third down coming up. Let's see if his confidence can increase. This offense was on the move. Now two straight incompletions have him looking at third and ten. Being chased out left. And this is caught. It's Brown. And they will eventually get him down, but he's inside the five all the way to the three. They're able to convert on third down, and that sets up a first and goal. Running their plays over and over during the week can often get robotic for an offense, but on game day, they can often flow smoothly, as that one just did. They'll run with Robinson, and he will push his way forward down to about the three-yard line. So the ball position now at the three. Here's second and goal. He'll drop to throw. Under pressure now, and he's going to go down just inside the five-yard line. And now time will be called here as Washington has an injured player okay, down on the field. Go. Maybe the first big test of the season here on both sides. This is third and goal. Back to throw. Looking for McLaurin, and he's got him. Touchdown, Washington. Four yards on the touchdown grab. And the Commanders are an extra point away from evening this one up. Well, with this rookie QB, we talk a lot about his ball placement and how good he can be at laying it right in there. I think we just saw Charles, though, the Thomas. And that nearly intercepted. Or the free safety roaming into position almost had it, but it's second down. On second down, a run with Gibson. And only a couple there up to about the 23-yard line. Well, that's a good start to this drive on the defensive side of the ball. 4C and completion on first down. Then you're able to shut down the running play on second. Yeah, I wouldn't be surprised now. A little bit of pressure going at the quarterback in an expected passing situation. Here's a play fake as they set up to throw. This is caught by his tight end, Logan Thomas. And they'll get it all the way up about five yards shy of midfield. Straight ahead, Gibson. And he's going to take this across midfield into Jacksonville territory. 65 yards rushing for him in his first half as he is looking in mid-season form here in the opener. Second and one. Got this complete to Jahan Dotson. And they'll work this down inside the 30. This has been a nice answer to the touchdown drive against them a few minutes ago because they've come back and reestablished the tempo. A nice throw there, and they're putting together a very strong drive as a response. Dancing to his left, looking for the end zone. That's going to be knocked away and incomplete. Many times when a play breaks down and the quarterback's moving around outside of the pocket, you're thinking, just get rid of something short. But a lot of guys are coached, think deep, take the big shot, hoping someone can get lost behind the secondary. They weren't able to connect on that one. And he'll take this inside the 30 to about the 29, maybe the 28-yard line. Eighth play of the drive, forthcoming, and they need eight yards on third down. They'll set up to throw. Steps away to his left. And a big loss here as he's taken down. Multiple defenders getting to him there for a huge loss. Go. 
They'll try and start this drive in the air. A beautiful fake. And he'll have this past the 30 prior to going out of bounds. Now we get a stoppage because, as you can see, a member of the commanders in some obvious discomfort. Well, you always hate to see injuries, especially tough here in week one. Just hoping this is nothing serious. We'll take a quick timeout. They'll look to throw here on first down. They'll set up the screen for Gibson. They'll get four there out of the screen, and it's second down. Clock running as Washington will try and hurry up. On play action, they'll throw. A quick throw knocked away. It's incomplete. They certainly did a nice job improvising there, extending the play, hoping someone would come open downfield, but they never did. On third down, he'll drop to throw. Able to connect with Dodson. And he's going to have a commander's first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. Now a timeout called for by the offense as the clock will stop with just under 30 seconds to go in the first half. Couple of first downs to kick off the drive. Here's first and 10 up at the 46. They'll look to throw again. And he knocks the ball away and it falls incomplete. Offense was moving a little bit, had them back on their heels, but they're in a brief pause by forcing the incompletion. That gives them a quick chance to regroup and try and mount a stand before they're backed up even further. Eluding the pressure right. He completes this one to Terry McLaurin. Now Washington going to use the second of their three timeouts. So that means they're down to one remaining here as we head toward halftime. Line of scrimmage, the 31 now on first and 10. Again, he'll drop to throw. Throw right side, taken in by Gibson. And he'll be out of bounds, able to get it down to the 25 there. Another completion there. And we think back to the draft in the spring. This franchise essentially handing him the keys to the operation, a top five pick. Charles, how ready do you think he is? I think he's ready for the NFL in terms of size, speed, the makeup of him, the character of him. The key's going to be, will this team accept everything he brings to the game and adapt to it, not just necessarily plug him into something? down he'll drop to throw escaping the pressure right oh hit as he throws there incomplete his back has been a dependable safety valve all game so he went back to him when his first read was covered just unable to connect so the play results in no gain on the draw it's Gibson and from the 25 they work this to the 29 a gain of four the second down play call was not to pick up the first down. It was to accomplish what they did to get into a manageable third down because they had incompletion on first down, so they were behind the sticks, so to speak. They needed to make up some ground, and they did. Flush to his right, and he's going to have to eat this one as down he goes. Josh Allen in there to get him once again. That's two sacks for him now here on opening day. So the opening drive of this third quarter, they're trying to set the tone for the second half. And without a doubt, they did exactly that. I've known coaches who have said the first five minutes of each half are so important to do exactly what you From the midfield stripe, they'll look to throw. That's complete to his receiver, McLaurin. And the tackle going to be made at the 38. 
A nice completion there for the first down. And Charles, you think about the quarterbacks of recent vintage that have been thrust into action week one. It's no guarantee of future success, but we sure have seen some good ones. We certainly have, partner. How about Joe Burrow with the Bengals in 2020? He was excellent. Kyler Murray with the Cardinals. The best part about his game has his team run the brink of the playoffs. And Deshaun Watson has won division titles after having started from day one. Back now at FedEx Field. It's the Commanders in possession of the football, but they trail as we start this fourth quarter. A give up the middle to Gibson. And he gets it inside the 10 to the 9. Holding offense. You need your wide receivers as blockers. Sometimes they go over. The big runs are often a result of what they do on the perimeter. In this case, got caught holding, and this one will come back. Looking to throw. And that, oh, nearly picked off. Well, it would have been a great time for their first interception of the game. Instead, it's second down. Back to throw here. And he slings one that's incomplete. So another incompletion there. He's hitting on fewer than half his pass attempts in this one, and that is not a winning formula. Yeah, so let's make sure we give a little bit of credit to the defense here. They're giving him a lot to think about, a lot of different looks, and he seems a little bit confused trying to complete passes. And he finds McLaurin. And he gets it all the way down inside the 10 and mark him at the 5. They're able to convert on third down, and that sets up a first and goal. They'll run with Gibson. And he's going to press this one forward as they stop it right around the 1. That'll be a pickup of four as they work with his four-point fourth-quarter lead. When we talk about being on schedule, I think they're on schedule after that run, getting it right down there on the doorstep. Maybe even a little bit ahead because now the defense can't dictate with pressure. They're guessing about where you're going to go. I might come right back at them with the same play, the same set, and see if they can stop them. And he's in. Touchdown, Commanders. It's their quarterback. Making quite a splash with his second touchdown in his NFL debut. And the Commanders have taken a fourth quarter lead. We saw so much of this last year at the college level, but there you go, his first rushing touchdown as an NFL quarterback. And with the speed he has, we certainly know it won't be his last because that's something that aided him very well, as you mentioned, at the college to throw now on first down. And he bats it away, and it falls down incomplete. They were trying to erase that deficit in one play. They certainly were, but how about the reaction time and the instincts back deep to force the incompletion? We might need to mark this one down. And he can't find anywhere to go with it, and he goes down. Possibly a turning point. Big play coming. This is third and long. They'll look to throw. And that almost intercepted. Oh, they would have loved to have their first pick of the game right there, but at least it does get them to fourth down. Got to try it here. He's back to throw. He's going to let it fly. He's got a man complete. And he will be taken down, but it's a big play and a conversion for Washington on fourth down. So it's Washington with the football here as we welcome you back. Just week one, but already plenty of intrigue with the games going on, and this one no different as we come up on a first and ten. He lets this one fly toward the back of the end zone, toward the back corner of the end zone, but he could not get the feet down. This will wind up incomplete. A really nice knockdown. He has so much pressure in these situations on defensive backs. What are they talking? Play the ball, not the man, because if you have a pass interference penalty in this spot, boy, oh boy, you put your team in a bad place. 
Slings this deep from McLaurin. And it's knocked away and incomplete. Back-to-back in -back incompletions, but we know this is definitely four down territory. Time not on their side. I don't think they want to try and get the first down in two installments. I think they got to go and get it right here, right now. And now the third down throw incomplete as well. Barger, they've got one chance left to keep this one going, and I think for you and me, let's think along with their offensive coordinator now. Has to think back, cycle through every play of this contest, and remember what's worked and what hasn't. Because right here, he needs the best play of the game in order to keep this one alive. And he'll be brought down on the other side of midfield at the 43. Well, their first fourth down attempt earlier was successful. This one backfires. The CD always a little extra excitement for week one, and one of our early window games here in week one on a Sunday comes to a close. Good to be back in the booth with you, my friend. And it's good to be back in the booth with you as well. And we know that not everyone's going to start the season 1-0, right? Half the league is going to have a loss on their record. But everyone's going to have to build off of that opener. And how many coaches tell us every single year, you make your most progress between week one and week two. We'll see how both of these teams progress the rest of this season. So for Jacksonville, hey, you get a win, you get it on the road. You can't ask for much more than that to start the year.